Deacon St. John, how have you been? No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? All right. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't on, know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. I'm on a bike with you. Some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. You're what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, uh, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Oh, okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What, 
about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone Nomad? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Goddamn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging, you know. I thought maybe the place was a big St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just, would you tell me what you found? Is, is she? Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien? I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Deke, Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died near a. <laughs> Bounty. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you, um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy, so listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors. It started by good old Uncle good Sam, night. using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, <laughs> just another way to unrest in the people. <laughs> if we're too busy arguing about <laughs> polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at him. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. 
Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. That's, uh... It's actually pretty good advice. For once. A little late. But it's good advice. Information? What information, O'Brien? What the hell can you possibly have left to say? That I would give a damn about. Deke, you there? I crafted you a couple of items, if you want to swing by. Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Can use this. Hey, Deke. Can you stop by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay. I'll stop by. Deacon up. We offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so as long as you never bring it back. Yeah, good. It starts tearing at his throat. Okay. I didn't stick around to see what happened to him. Yep. Like I said, that was my last day at work. I'm guessing it was everyone's last day. First time I ran into a freak. Don't be such a stranger. Good to see you, Deke. Buzz, how you doing? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. I'll be here. No if idea you need how me. to fix it. See you later, Deke. Hey, Ricky. What's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here when they were hit by a group of drifters. <sighs> they tracked them back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he can, if he can use a gun. Then what the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay, great. I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke. Deacon St. John, how have you been?
This is Radio gotcha. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you now. Before the ship, we were done. We were blindly taking in millions of all kinds. We've been sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin. And it worked. Down you go! Now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath, and hold it in. You are free men. No one can take that from you again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope, I'm feeling the pain. Who fucking is it? Ah, uh, fucking Jesse Carlos Williamson. Rest in peace. Ricky, I'm at Malakwa Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Uh, yeah, I got this. Speaking out. <laughs>
more. That's it. <laughs> now we just gotta let Ricky know it's done. Uh, Ricky, it's done. I cleared out the camp full of drifters north of Malacqua Lake. <sighs> Thanks, Deke. I'll let Iron Mike know. I'll be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, Deke. Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. This is Lost Lake. Come in. Hey, Mike. What's up? Ricky told me you took care of that drifter camp north of Malacqua Lake. Yeah, they won't uh, be bothering us anymore. Hey, Mike, that kid, Mitchell, he really shouldn't be going out on runs unless he can take care of himself. Yeah. God damn it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Deke. Iron Mike out. Raiders. Damn it. I should have been watching for him. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Deke. Can you stop by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon up. Glad you're still breathing. Hey, Deke. What's up, Joe? Been busy, huh? That's all I got for now. Oh, Deacon, good to see you. Hey, Blair, how are things in the gun trade? Uh, good choice. Um, okay. Uh, here you go. Yep, that's nice. All right. 
Deke, take care now. Deke, we really need your help. Ricky, hey, what's wrong? I just got a radio call from Jeremy. Jeremy? Givens? He's that kid who wrote in a few days ago, remember the group he was with that got wiped out near Tumalo? I assigned him marsh duty, but evidently Jeremy isn't much for taking orders. Okay, yeah, but uh, a radio call, why is he out in the shit? He wanted to prove himself, go on a supply run by himself. Anyway, he ran out of gas near a farm northwest of here. I made a note on your map. Can you find him before... Yeah, before he gets himself killed, sure. I'll have a look around. Engine crapped out. Let's see. That should do it. Hey, Ricky, this uh, farm, where is it exactly? It's right across from the bridge that leads to the farm. It, it'll be on the left. Okay, you, hold on. You mean the, the Lost Lake farm? Got it, got it. Deacon out.
Okay, this has got to be it. Yeah, out of gas, so workbench. Grab the gas can. Where are you going, Jeremy? Oh, shit. Hey, Ricky, I found his bike. He's not there? No, uh, looks like he's heading into Sherman's camp. Jesus, Deke. Look, he's probably at the gas station trying to pry candy bars out of a vending machine. Look, I'll find him. So you filled up your can? Ah, shit, no rotters.
Come on, assholes. Is that all of you? I'm in here, I'm in here! All right, kid, hang on, I'm coming. Mr. St. John? Oh, thank God. Thank God. It's just the kid. They, uh, they, they, were, they were talking about, they, they were gonna cut me up. They were gonna eat me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, you got this? Can you get your gas, then get your ass back up to camp? You got it? Yes, sir. God damn yes, it, sir. don't call me sir, it's Deacon. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. something new every day.
Hey, Ricky. I got him. He's on his way back. Dick, what happened? Well, he ran into some drifters who were... Oh, Jesus. Let's just say that he was on tonight's menu. Oh, my God. Cannibals? Well, I honestly didn't stop to ask them. Deacon out. Hey, did the uh, kid make it back okay? Hey, Deacon. Yeah, he's a little shaken. Good, good. Iron Mike said he even volunteered for marsh duty, if you can believe it. Oh, I believe it. Uh, hey. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Does he call you ma'am? Yeah, as you know. <sighs> Lucky guess. See you, Ricky. How many drifters you guys murder today, huh? Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, but like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Her wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. 
No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer, booze man, come back. Yeah, D. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. D. Good. Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Well, just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles. Said there was a... The trail that went around Mount Thielson, Mount Thielson, I don't know, something. Thielson, Thielson, yeah, that's it. Thielson Pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, you're... Shit. You, you've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer, uh... I, I think that she's alive. D. You never lost hope. You always knew. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? Uh! Life, hey Manny. All right, what's going on? See you around, Deke. Hey, Deke, how's it going? Damon, how's it going? I'll fix that gun up for you, nice and good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Nice. That'll last you. All right. Thanks, Deacon. Good to see you, Deke. Damon, 